what is forensic science or criminal sticks and how can gene technology be used in forensic science forensic science is the science of criminal and civil laws mainly has used during criminal investigation to provide admissible evidences to the courts or forensic science is any science that can use scientific methods or expertise to investigate crimes or examine evidence that might be presented in a court of law or legal system. Forensic science to provide admissible evidences to the court or legal system, it significantly depends on fingerprints. Fingerprints have been used for many years to help place a suspect at the scene of crime. These fingerprints continue to provide strong evidence because an individual's fingerprints are unique, except identical twins. So, we know that the fingerprints do not change throughout the life of individuals. There are two types of fingerprints, actual fingerprint and genetic fingerprint. Genetic fingerprint has nothing to do with actual fingerprints. This genetic fingerprint is a technique for comparing the DNA of different people because DNA fingerprint or genetic fingerprint is something you are born with. It is unique to you. Much of the DNA in the cells of the body, which is about 95%, is known as non-coding DNA or mini-satellite. The non-coding DNA is found between genes and contains base sequences that are repeated sometimes many times over. These repeating sequences of non-coding DNA are called mini-satellite and it is the basis of a genetic fingerprint. The mini-satellites are inherited along with the coding DNA from one parent or generation to the next generation or offspring. The DNA used for analysis can be obtained from a sample of blood, skin, semen, or hair roots. In fact, from any type of cell that has a nucleus. If the sample does not contain sufficient amount of DNA for analysis, this little amount can be amplified by using polymerase chain reaction or PCR machine. What are the main stages that we need to follow in preparing genetic fingerprint? First, the DNA is isolated from the sample cells and is cut into fragments using one or more restricted endonuclease enzymes. The fragments that are obtained from the sample cells are then treated with alkali solution to separate the strands of each DNA fragment. The fragments are then separated by gel electrophoresis. What is gel electrophoresis and how it works? Gel electrophoresis is a technique that uses a thick block of gel or jelly-like material to act as a molecular sieve. Fragments of DNA are separated by applying electrical field across the gel. Because DNA fragments are negatively charged, they move to the positive electrode. The smaller the fragments move more quickly than the larger ones and so move further in the same time. To transfer DNA fragment from the gel to nitrocellulose paper or membrane, we have to use Southern blotting technique. Southern blotting technique is a technique of transferring DNA fragments from the gel to the nylon membrane, which was devised by Professor E.M. Southern and is called Southern blotting. In this technique, Nylon membrane is placed over the gel in a tray of flow buffer and is held in the place by paper towel and certain wet. So, during southern bloating, the invisible pattern of separated DNA fragments are transferred from the gel to a nylon membrane. 
In this technique, the buffer soaks up through the gel by carrying the fragments of DNA with it. The buffer can then pass through the membrane and be absorbed by the paper towel, but the DNA cannot pass through the nylon membrane. It remains on the nylon membrane in the same relative position as it was in the gel. Lastly, radioactive gene probe is applied to the membrane. This radioactive gene probe is made of a single-stranded DNA, what we call cDNA, and binds with the base sequences in the mini-satellite fragments of DNA that remains on the nylon membrane in the same relative position as it was in the gel. The membrane is then placed over a piece of X-ray film to reveal the position of those fragments that have bound to the probe on the nylon membrane, what we call autoradiography. DNA fingerprints from the defendant and victim. The chance of two people having the same genetic fingerprint unless they are identical twin is about one in one million. So, genetic fingerprint can be used to provide strong evidence of involvement in scene of crime or innocence of a crime. If the blood on the defendant's clothes has the same DNA as the victim's blood, it must be the victim's blood. So, the defendant was at least present at the time when the crime had performed or gets appeared. DNA fingerprints is also used in DNA parentage or paternity testing to determine whether two individuals are biologically parent and child.